Hi friends, how are you? I am Noor and today I will explain the temp data in SPMVC.NET 6. Uh, basically, we use the temp data to transfer data from controller to view, or to transfer data from view to controller, or to transfer data from one action method of controller to another action method of controller. So let's me go to the Visual Studio so that we can do the practical work and understand the temp data in a better way. I have installed the Visual Studio 22 version. So I will open the Visual Studio from here. Sorry guys, go back. Uh, no, I will select this template, create a new project. From here, search for SPMVC and select this option. Here I have to give the name to my project. Uh, the name should be temp data, yes. And uh, the project will be saved inside this uh, directory. And here you can keep the name, uh, you can change the name for the solution, but at this time I will. Uh, keep uh, the same name as my project name for the solution. Okay, now click next. Uh, from the framework drop down, you have to select the .NET 6. Uh, here you have to select none at this time and uncheck this option. You can also keep this check, but I will uncheck because sometime my browser gives me. Um, uh, the authentic uh, the SSL error uh, if I keep this option checked. That is why I will uncheck at this time. Click on create. Okay, guys. Now the project is ready. Let me first run the project. And then I will show you how we can send data from controller to view using temp data and from one action method to the other using temp data. Okay, now you can see that the project running successfully. From here, I can go to the privacy page, I can go to the home page. Now I will come to the uh, project again. Uh, if you expand the controller folder, you can see that here we have a default controller with the name whom added uh, from the template of MVC at the time uh, uh, when we create the project. So I will continue my work inside this controller, right? Go to the whom controller, uh, remove all these things, uh, yes, this one also. No. In the privacy page, I will uh, uh, assign here some data to a temp data, and then I will use the temp data in the view. It means that I am sending data from the controller to the privacy to the privacy view um, using the temp data. Okay, so let me define here a temp data temp data. It is the syntax for defining temp data. You have to write the keyword temp data and then the bracket inside the bracket you have to uh, give a name to the temp data. So let's suppose my temp data name is student name. Sorry. The student name should be yes, uh, like in this way. Now oh, here, let's suppose the student ID is at six. No, I will use these two temp data uh, in my view because I am returning from the privacy action method of controller to the view. So let's me go to the view. Uh, here is my view. Uh, in the home folder, the folder name is same like the controller name, and here is my view name. 
So I will define here a div and inside the div I will use the two dem data. First one is student name, sorry, the first one should be the student ID. I will use like in this way, uh, temp data and my temp data name was student ID. The second line, I will use, I will print the student name and I will um, pick the value from the ten, temp data student name. Stop the project and put here a debugger and see the values. I will also put here a debugger. Run the project. I am passing values from controller to the view. Okay. Now I will go to the privacy page. Click on this option. You can see that the debugger is it. First, I will show you the value inside the temp data. Uh, to view the values, you, there is an option just select any variable, any object, right click, and quick watch. You can see that its value is null. Now let me run the two lines this one and this one. Now I will show you the value of this variable. You can see that its value is no and the second variable value is 7 at 6, the student ID. Now continue. Here we reach at the view, at the privacy view. Now here you can see also the views. Uh, the temp data, I think, yes, 7 at 6. And further, it, here will be the student name in this temp data data. Let me continue. I will remove the debugger. You can see that the student ID and student name printed in the view successfully. So it was the first way to send data from controller action method, I mean from the action result method to the view. Okay. No, I will send this stem data from this action method to this action method of the controller. It means that I am sending data from one view to another view because basically this action method return a view. No, when the control comes in this view, I will return redirect from here to the home page and then in the home page, I will use these two datas. So you have just to change here a little. I will return direct. Yes, like in this way. No, the first parameter is the action method name. And in the second parameter, I will give the controller name. The controller name is whom. But keep in mind to not append the controller, this keyword, just use the home as a controller name here. So this line of code will return the line of execution from the privacy page to the index page. Let me also put here a debugger. Uh, stop the application. No, I will copy these two temp data, uh, control S, and I will paste inside the index view. So right click, go to view, and here I will pass this data. Control S. Let's me run the application first. Uh, we are uh, at the home of the home page of the application. Now, basically, when the first time lo loads this page, uh, in this place there will there will be print no data. Because currently there is no values uh, assigned in the index uh, page to this temp data because I am directly hitting this view. So let me continue. You can see that no student ID and no student name is printed. But when I click on this privacy page uh, link, then the control will come inside these, uh, these two uh, temp data values will be set 
and then I will be re I will redirect to the home page. So let's we see what happened. Click on privacy. You can see that the debugger is heated. Click next, 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 next. Okay. So we you can see that we redirected to the home page successfully. No. Uh, click next, click next, and continue. Here you can see that the values of uh, student ID and the value for the student name is printed because I am passing these two values from the privacy action method to the home page of the controller uh, of the project. Right. So it was the second way to use stem data uh, to pass uh, data from the one action method to the other action method uh, of the controller. Now you can also you use stem data to pass values from the view to the controller, right? How can I do so? Let's me explain. Move this line of code, right? And remove this line also. Stop the application, uh, go to the home page and just replace this one. Uh, sorry, copy this one. Control Alt. Yes, I will copy these two and let me uh, remove these two. Now, in the privacy page, I will define here a C sharp code. And in the C-sharp code, I will assign values to these two temp, uh, temp datas. I will keep its value to uh, yes, like this. And the second value should be should it should be like in this way. And the variable for the student ID, the data for the student ID should be seven eight six. Okay, now I'm just assigning values to these two temp data in the view. You can see that I, ha I am not assigning any kind of data in the controller. No one's anybody visit uh, this privacy page, these two variables will be set. And then I will use these two variables inside my home page. Like, how can I use like uh, in the home page? I will uh, assign. Uh, Declare here a variable uh, student ID, right? And the student ID value will come from the temp data student ID. And uh, let's me uh, define one another variable student name. And it should be uh, string. Yes, like in this way. You can see that, uh, see here that I am passing uh, value to the student ID from this temp data and to the student name from this temp data. Keep in mind that you have to uh, convert uh, the values accordingly. Uh, the variable type is integer uh, here for the student ID. So I will convert this temp data to integer. Convert do to int. It's like in this way. And I will convert this temp data to string. For converting to string, just uh, write the C sharp pre bit method dot to string. It, uh, it will convert the temp data to a string and the value will be saved in student name. So let us me save this application. But let us me first check whether these values are null or not. If these values are not null, then I will go to the uh, inside this variable. Otherwise, I will skip because it will give me then error. If student is not equal to null and if this stem data is also not equal to none, 
then come inside these block okay so let's me run the project press on the step over button you can see that we not come inside the um, inside this code block because the value of these temp data variable is null if you can see it's null and the second one value is also null this block of code uh, skipped now let's me continue okay i will go to the privacy page because i want to set these two damn data inside the privacy page let's me also put here a debugger i will click on the privacy page uh, here the privacy action method is hit it continue and now i come to the view of the privacy first i will show you the value there will be null value no value exist no next next no the two values set inside these two temp data let's me show you the first one you can see the value okay continue no i will go to the home page again click on this and you know that the, the uh, these two variable values no set no go to uh, click on home i am uh, at the action method um, uh, index in the home controller no click next again these two lines skipped i think we use these two lines uh, not not that let's me go to the privacy page again if i show you the value it's null it's mean that we can't pass yes it uh, we observe practically that we can't pass the value like in this way but we can pass from controller to controller and from action result to view uh, we observe it practically i am setting again the values you can see there are two values uh, settled here but if i go to the home page then the values for these two variable is null it's mean that we can't do like in this way it, sorry guys like in this way oh i have got the values i think there was some issue uh, let's me also show you the the value for the second variable second variable is value is also set i think there was some issue okay so it's mean that we can also pass the values from the view to the controller using the temp data um, uh, let's me again go to the uh, privacy page continue go on home page to just verify whether it's working or not okay its value is student id right guys so in our today session basically we learn how we can use the temp data for sending data from controller to view from view to controller and from one view to another or from one action method to another so it is basically a useful variable you can use it according to your needs and requirement in aspmvc.net core 6 thank you for watching the video thank you